I do have a question from TikTok <coughs> um, from Work and Digress. A burning <laughs> question of mine for a while has been, what is the significance of your boar pendant, Eric? I don't, hey, Eric. I don't wear this that often, so it's interesting that they have yeah, noticed it before. it a few times. Not lately. Um, there's not a lot of significance to this one. Um, I mean, the boar is it was a popular animal in both Celtic and Anglo-Saxon and Pictish and Nordic cultures. It basically, uh, people living in a forested environment, going out into the woods and getting mauled by big animals tended to respect boars. <laughs> They're seen as, uh, uh, you know, full of fiery spirit and aggression and uh and virility so it was a very popular animal for you know the the old tribal folks to emulate so you have uh boars as a crest on anglo-saxon helmets was very common um as a motif <coughs> on shields and things like that uh very common Campbells have a boar as a crest yep exactly i mean yeah that's a good point basically that that respect for the animal carried forth all the way up to the modern age basically um so basically this is just an homage to you know tribal tribal culture in general it is it is a sacred animal to certain you know nordic and celtic gods um this particular one is from a company called crafty celts who i highly recommend if you're looking for a little bling like this they do good work and they're and, delicious yeah i know i know i know people who have actually hunted them nice not not easy to do and i mean when i hunt i don't mean like poo with a scope i mean like with your back against a tree with a spear you know how you do that? On an island in the middle of the sun. No. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Me never. Yeah, that's but that's how you hunt wild pig or boar. Right. Yeah, with a spear. It's like this a boar hunting spear would have these giant prongs on it, you know, um, a couple feet down from the from the point of the spear, and you would basically put your back against a tree and plant the spear in the tree, and when the boar comes running at you, it would impale itself. And the prongs are there to stop it from hitting you. <clears throat> yeah. Good times. That... That sounds more aggressive than I would prepare to be. Well, then you would not make it in the Middle Ages. Nope. Not at all. Our friend Aaron Wallace here has pointed out, plus a good boar makes bacon. Yes. It's kind of where I was going with it. It is tougher meat. It is tougher meat and old you know, old gamey like you'd expect. But a, a few things I'll add to this general topic though are one, uh boars are featured in a couple of the clan crests. Mm -hmm. Some of yep. the more common yep. ones too. That's not why Absolutely. Eric is wearing his, but that that, no. that is out there. For me there. it's a tribal thing. Aren't you a Campbell though yeah. anyway? No. I'm I am Campbell on my grandmother's side, but I am I have Stuart on my paternal side, so. But you could, yeah. it could be there because he's Campbell. Yeah, it's Campbell I just I've always found it amusing. They've got like the two big rival clans. In yeah. Life. <laughs> so half of me hates the other half, or something. <coughs> I don't know. But we have um, Boar's Head quality meats right down the road. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And yeah. there there are a couple of folks who have reached out to us via phone call or email recently who have suggested in the spirit of our Fenrir buckle and, and some of those other custom buckles that we should do some boar stuff. It's I don't been disagree. a rising tide of uh, comments I don't disagree. About there is By some... rising tide, I mean like two. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, well, I, for every two, there's at least 200 out there. I mean, mm. come on. We'll just wrap the Fenrir buckle in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Mm, delicious buckle bacon. Um, no, I could see that, actually, because, again, boars are very... Very common, very powerful animal, yeah. a spirit animal, you could say, for a lot of folks. Indeed. Yep. Yes. All right. For those who want to be impaled. Or not. Or want to impale other people. <coughs> Fair. Yeah. Who doesn't want to impale other people? Hey, if you're not subscribed, it'd be great if you could do that. Thank you so much. Do give us a comment on the content. Let us know what you're thinking about what we're doing. We need that kind of feedback. Ring that bell, you know, the usual stuff, and check out the videos over here. There's lots more to see.